All right. We have the blue Man of the West player, Mrs. Mock, at the bottom right side, versus the red Isengard player, Mei Shadow Effect, at the top left side. So, Isengard against Man. King Theodin versus Saruman. Boromir versus Lourdes. And Aragorn versus Sharku. Just like in the films. Double farm opening for, me, for Mrs. Mock. Um, I like this map a lot. There are just too many birds around, you know? There's like so many birds flying around, it's crazy. And we have double furnace into the Uruk pits opening. It's a pretty normal opening. I mean, that's like a, you know, I, it's nothing special about this opening. You cannot mess this up. Like, that's been the opening from Isengard since I know this game. Into the third furnace. So what you can do now is you can open with a pikeman and creep. Like, eventually this layer or even when you go want to go defensively, you can also creep this one. And then group the pikeman with the Uruks later and go for the first push. Which is like a pretty solid strategy. I don't like the creep bean opening. I believe in a one-on-one -on -one situation, the Warchan is just too good, you know? It's just too powerful. Like, you don't want to mess this up, you know what I'm saying? Like, Warchan or Rallying Call beats debuff. And I don't know if you have to scout. Maybe you want to scout to see if he's eventually, you know, building up the stable, which is not the case. But the problem with the scouting creep bean is, I believe, that when it comes to fighting, your Kribin is going to be on cooldown, you know, and he can use Rallying Call. And the buff advantage in this game is quite massive. Soldiers of Gondor. You are soldiers of Gondor. What com whatever comes through the gate, hold your ground. Hey, Swagni, welcome. The Rohan Spearman units coming up next. So, Uruks against soldiers, Uruks are stronger. But not when they are buffed with the Rallying Call. Are they gonna fight this? Um, oh. Look at this. I mean, Uruks are fighting, and that's what I'm talking about, you see? Rallying Call is available, but Kribin is it. That's the problem. Pilvan, thanks for the raid, appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. What version is that? We are using right now the beta version. The version 9.0 beta. But I think it's, you know, it's still beta. I think it's not done yet, so they can still change a lot. And to be fair, I haven't taken a look into the a change lock yet i don't know what is really changed and we are trying to figure it out by watching those games urukai been without war rallying call no lol uruk yeah actually yeah what the what i didn't know that <laughs> i didn't know that bro how can uruks win against soldiers in a one-on-one -on -one situation when they have no debuff no buff and soldiers are buffed what the heck is that Give us some room. Let's go. Hi, Bonnie. Welcome. Zero hi. Welcome. Okay. I mean, the good thing is now the rallying call is on, on cooldown and Kribin is almost back up. I think if you can win a 1v1 one, one, one situation uh, without Warchant against buffed soldiers, then you can also win a 1v2 situation when you have debuff and they have no buff. There's a furnace, it's gonna be found. Uh, we have double barracks opening. I mean, pretty much like a spam style of the Man of the West faction. No stable so far. And you can see maybe, you can also maybe feel it. The games are, you know, feeling way less leggy in compared to Game Ranger. Because of buffers nerfed, okay. Um, in this case, it didn't update this um, seat, the tooltip, because it still says 50% damage in armor. Okay, more soldiers are coming. They cost 250 each. But Uruks, they cost 400 each. The furnace is going to be found and taken down by the pikemen. They were also creeping, I think, this one. Yeah. So, after the first couple of minutes into the game, we can see Smoky is up to 550 command points in total. He has 3 power points in the bank after the rallying call opening. And we have almost 2.5 power points, almost 3. And 350 command points only for Isengard. That's a really rough situation for Isengard. Because the thing is, Isengard's early game is kind of meh. Is when you build the Uruk pit because your Uruks they cost so much more money than any other infantry from any other faction. Like obviously you can go after those Wartman, but you have a cheaper option, right? You can go for the goblin spam when you play goblins. You can go for the uh, Gundabad warriors when you play Engma. You don't have to go Black Nomonorians, you don't have to go after those Wartman. But Isengard doesn't have really a very cheaper version of a Swartman. I mean you can basically call the Wipeman of Thunland as a cheaper Swartman too, I guess. 
uh, but they are not very swordman stylish. They are more for poking and dealing economical damage. The war pit is gonna be unfortunately taken down before the second warg is gonna make it out, I think. Rallying call is gonna be used. The enemy! Nah, they cannot come out quite yet. Door opening, but the door, they couldn't make it out of the door. Warchan, Kribane. But they are outnumbered. They are outnumbered big time. And it's um it's a momentum now. Because man player might be creeping at the same time. The pikes they don't set a chance. Crazy hunter for 30 months with primaries. Crazy hunter, thank you so much for a huge spot, my man. One year and one year. One year and one month, I mean. Ahoy. Hey community. Good to be back. Thank you very much, good sir. Appreciate it. 33 person ah it's 33 person now okay that makes way more sense but i think it's not updated yet here you see i mean again it's still beta so they can still do this afterwards not not a big deal and again i haven't take a look took, you know i didn't read the change lock so i have no clue what exactly got changed because we didn't know until today if it's gonna be on the on the version 8.5 or if we, if we should be using the beta version for that i think um using beta is better because we can kind of see and feel the differences because regardless what is what is standing in the change lock uh, i think the best way to recognize the changes is when you visually can see them with your own eyes you know in a gameplay i mean to be honest <laughs> at this point of the game it kind of feels like men is kind of cosplaying the goblin faction you understand they're kind of cosplaying the goblin faction because look at this double barracks spam Spam, 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 soldiers, soldiers, and building now the barracks number three, <laughs> barracks number four. <laughs> what is this? Is this a barracks or is this a goblin cave? I don't know. I don't know. And we have no stable, we have no heroes, and we have no archer range. Who needs that when you can spam soldiers all the time? Man OP in beta? Okay. I'm playing co-op games with friends now, no cha no challenges, no ladder, just fun. Again, you know, it, it depends, it depends, you know, like, I can totally understand that. I believe majority of the people who are playing BFME games in 2022 are actually kind of, you know, kind of casual players. They want to just play for fun. They want to mess up, ar mess around, save money for ring heroes, you know, do the crazy stuff, go for ships in those Umbar maps. But there are also a group of people and luckily for us who are actually interesting in competition interested in competition games you know stand spam of the west yeah uh, look <laughs> it feels like the black gate mission in battle for middle Earth one but it's like the mordor edition you know now you are in the black gate but you are mordor or in this case isengard and you are defending against man of the west Ship map tournament when? <laughs> what are men if not early stage goblins? Yeah, I mean, to be fair. Okay, Batman of the Unend Summon. And Warchan into that. Kribin. He's using literally everything here to defend, but that's all he can do. Take a look into the minimap, boys. Man is everywhere. You see that? We have at this point of the game 925 command points for man. He has four barracks, one on each side, and two at his own home. And he keeps spamming all the time. He does not do anything else. Now he go for Theodin for leadership, which is pretty good. Big boy glue for seven months. Let's go, big boy. My good, my good friends. Thank you for the huge spot. Means a lot. Bike boy glue just resubscribed for seven months. Ahoy, man flesh. Looks like meets back on the menu, boys. <laughs> it's like a deja vu feeling now. We're gonna hear now all night long. Soldier Battalion standing by. Soldier Battalion standing by. It's only best of three. So losing the first game in a best of three is already like a big handicap. Because the next game you gotta win. You have to win otherwise you won't even see the game number three. So next game Mission of X is gonna play Man of the West Faction. And Smokey is gonna swap to Isengard. And I, you know that's the best way. Because most people can blame it on the, on the matchup. But I think um, when there is a skill gap differential between a player to the other then he might also be able to win the wars matchups. Now in this game, 
it might look like many of the vessels kind of OP. They are spamming, they are out spamming Isengard big time. But in the, in the upcoming game, the situation might be a whole different one, you know? So we cannot judge the matchup or the balance of the one matchup from seeing only one game. That's the reason why we will have a second time the same matchup, but the other way around. Hey Chandler, long time no see, dude. Let to see around. As far as I remember, I think that is Smog's back. So, uh, maybe it is, but I mean, Smoky normally plays, as far as I know, I don't know if this has changed either, but he normally plays always random, you know? Uh, no, Elma wouldn't be better, because Elma doesn't give leadership to the infantry. At this point of the game, he has only infantry units, right? He has only swordmen and soldiers and pikemen. And the, the reason why Tilden is better is because he can provide leadership with level 1 to every unit. So he can make them stronger too. Hobbits, I mean, what is this? This is domination, my dude. That's kind of crazy. Men of the West. Goblins of the West. Eowyn. The shields made. I think Eowyn got changed too, if I'm not mistaken. I, I've seen in the in the in the Discord of the 2.02 server that more people were complaining about Eowyn, and I think she got a couple of buffs. I don't know what they are. I don't know if she got buffs, but I think she did. I think she did. I think she's she's like crazy attack speed now. Maybe I don't know what what the changes are. Heal is gonna be used. What is this? So I'll just spam OP now. GG is gonna be called from Mission of X. GG indeed. Lord's the last man standing. He cannot. Were useless in the past, 1v1. I mean, to be fair, in also 8.5, that was like a solid strategy from the Man of the West faction. I don't know what has changed though. I don't know. Like, I don't think there is any big change between version 8.4 to version 8.5. Cave pads with the primers for the 13 months, we do. Cave pads, holy quacka moly. One year into one. Do I know you already this long? Dude, the time is passing by. That's crazy, right? Thank Hacker you. Nofrivia just resubscribed for 13 months. Ahoy. Go, 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 May Shadow XD. Go, 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 Mayshot of X. Yeah, I would also like to win Mayshot for Mayshot of X because I would like to see a game number three. But I'm obviously, of course, not biased. I don't care who's gonna win. Me, the best player win. Uh, very early barracks opening after the first farm for Mayshot of X. On the other side, we see double furnace, Uruk pit. And unlike his opponent, uh, you know, who was going for the cave pads or Kribane in the previous game, Mayshot of X, uh, Mrs. Mock. It's not doing the same thing. He actually goes for the war chance. Because you have seen, right? You have seen before. One Urukai without the buff and debuff can still 1v1 a soldier when the soldier is buffed. So imagine if you have buffed Uruks. I think then your Uruk can easily 1v2 a soldier battalion. Easily. And I think you don't have to pick up the Kribin if you don't go for the Warp Pit opening. Like, I believe Kribin is only good when you open with the Warp Pit, because your Warp Packs have the whole ability which will replace your War Chant. You have my sword. Alpha Escort, thanks for the follow, appreciate it. This guy's got 30 seconds cooldown from 10. Discord link is in the description is expired. Oh, sorry for that. I will update it. I can also send you later on after this game in, in Twitch chat. No problemo. Slay that beast. Offensive creeping action, uh, but let's see if Isengard can see this. So that's the vision control of Isengard. And if he goes this way, he won't be able to see it. He won't be able to see it. That's a very... Oh, but don't beat him in like this. Don't give him the vision. It doesn't matter at this point. I think he's gonna be just able to finish it. Is he gonna get the money? Get the money. Oh, oh, oh. I, I can... Smokey might be able to steal it. No, he doesn't even bother trying. Creep secured, so he knows what he's up to. He was able to see the pikeman, he was able to see the soldier. The soldier is kind of retreating now to deal with the Uruk, but the pikeman can keep going on. I don't think the pikeman can deal too much damage because one Uruk can actually smash him. Like, they are so weak against swordmen, they have no chance. They have a stable. So, um, I, don't, I don't know about this. Like, I think, in order to win this, you gotta just play it the same way like Smokey did in the previous game. Uruks can 1v2 human salt because men are weak. <laughs> you are like Elrond now, my friends. 
<laughs> yeah, but I mean, you're, you have an elven name, of course. Uh, Men of the best, seem almost, but Isengard's heroes changes. Hard to predict who's strong now. I mean, of course, you cannot really judge it from one single game. I think this game is looking much better for Isengard so far than the previous one. Because he went for a steeple. And the problem is, the steeple was seen. I mean, Smokey was able to see and find the steeple. The farm is going to be still taken down. And unlike the previous game, so far, there is zero pressure on Isengard. I mean, yeah, you can, you know, technically argue and say, yeah, but he's creeping at this. Okay, I, I take it. But I think when you play against Isengard, when you, you will, you will, should, you should try, not you will, but you should try to hurt him early game. Because early game, when you kind of kill two, three furnaces, he will be so poor, right? He will have zero eco to keep producing Uruks, get a warp pit to level two, to get warp riders on the field. He cannot do this. And you hurt his eco. Because Isengard units are so expensive. He needs eco early game. So instead of creeping, you should be focusing more on harassing, in my opinion. And also, Gondonites without leadership are kind of meh. So you need later on Elma to make them a bit stronger, I guess. And again, you know. The Vork Riders. I like the new whole ability animation, though. It looks different. Like, the one was looking pretty much like, I don't know, it was not looking very good. It was not looking special. Not too bad. I mean, but it was not looking special. This is, like, very unique. I like this. But too much pressure on man. Zero pressure on Isengard. Pretty much zero pressure. Like, one barracks is definitely not... <laughs> The good thing. After the first couple of minutes, we have 450 command points for Isengard. He's up to four power points after the war chant. So he needs like what six for the for the devastation or for the Wipeman of Dunland or a quarter for the Kribin. So we have five power points for Major of X, 400 command points versus 500. So Major of X is kind of behind, but it's not a huge uh, lead for Major of uh, for Mr. Smog. So it's definitely workable if the Gondonites can do stuff. There are some pikemen you gotta avoid fighting. Beautiful trample. I like this animation. This red... Like, it, it looks like Atelas to me. Doesn't it look like Atelas a little bit? It looks like permanent Atelas from Aragorn, but in red color. <laughs> That's how the animation is looking like a little bit to me. Is it on beta? Yes, sir. We are on beta. Okay. Um, you gotta get some pikemen on the field to counter this work. Riders! Oh, this is gonna be domination. Look, he's expanding at the same time around the map. Getting more eco. Where are the Gondonites at? Dude, I, I feel like he never got any Gondonites out. Or am I wrong? Or did he just lose them instantly? I, I, I've seen him getting or recruiting one of them. But I've not seen him get, having on the field any one of them. I mean, Smoke is on fire, dude. I shouldn't have made horses, spam soldiers like you did. Yeah, you should have done this, in my opinion. He's gonna call it GG now. And that's it. Domination from Smoky. And 2-0 victory. Holy crack and moly.